Um, <sighs> this sucks. Hey everybody, this is take two of this, the room, not even the room, god damn it, I already fucked up. The Disaster Artist, this movie is a disappointment. Um, the theater was nearly empty, there was maybe 20 people. I'm just going to read my notes, because the first take I tried to inject thoughts into this nothing ass movie, and it just went into rambling silence. So, I don't like the room, I don't like cringe stuff, and about five minutes into the movie, not even, the very first scene, my hands hit my head, and they never left, because I was just like, oh my god, I don't want to, I don't want to suffer the embarrassment that Tommy Wiseau should be suffering. Um, the only real laughs for me, because I don't like the cringe stuff, uh, were just directly from the room. And it wasn't real laughs, it was... Oh, I get that. That That's from the thing. That's funny. It's funny because I recognize it. Um, all the drama in the movie just kind of comes out of nowhere, like... Greg follows Tommy for no reason. It's, it's not explicitly stated that he's going to get any money. Like, Tommy gives him a room in Los Angeles, but it's just, follow the dreams... Um, other than that, Tommy is just a really creepy weirdo who has no idea how to make a movie, which everybody already knows, even if you haven't seen The Room, because you know the reputation of The Room. Um, so, yeah, he's portrayed as a really creepy weirdo, which, good job, James Franco, I guess. Seth Rogen was funny when he showed up. Bob Odenkirk was funny when he showed up. Hannibal Buress was funny when he showed up. But... This movie just has a lot of things happen, and you know that it's funny because that must be what happened to produce a movie that's as bad as The Room. Also, I haven't read The Disaster Artist book, so I have no context there either. But from what I've heard so far from other people who I shouldn't watch before my own reviews, um, the book is significantly better and makes a lot more sense, obviously, because it has to, because it's the first-hand account of Greg Sestero going through this ridiculous process. Uh, one thing I did laugh at, even though I knew it was coming from the very first time I saw the shooting day counter, was they have this counter that's like shooting day one of 40. I knew at some point in the movie it was going to go up to like, day 50 and I think it ended on day 58 or something and Greg and Tommy get in a fight in a park and I think that was the scene in the room where they're just playing football in the park and they go for the run and I guess that's the last bit they got and then they just stitched that in where like you probably already know that the room is a mess the disaster artist isn't fantastic, but the fact that it's not terrible is almost worse, because I'm blanking on things to talk about already, and I just saw the fucking movie less than an hour ago. I didn't even take my watch out of theater mode. It's been that recent. 
I don't remember shit about this movie already. And it's not like I was falling asleep in it like I was Justice League. Maybe I'll do that one next. Um, I remember more about Justice League than I do about the Disaster Artist. I keep wanting to say The Room. Um, but yeah, the ending... And I don't mean the the plot ending of the movie. The pre-credits ending where it's like the um, prologue, I think. Yeah. Uh, where they're like a sort of where is where are they now thing. Um, that was cute. Where it's like Tommy Wiseau and Greg Sestero still speak every day. The room is regularly sold out at midnight screenings in a bunch of theaters all over the place, which I would not... I do not envy the janitors to those screenings because people are, like, throwing shit, playing football in the aisles, all this. I... Oh, I'm... I don't think I mentioned it in this version of the recording. I was dreading going to see this movie because I didn't want to be in a crowd of room fans who would yell at the screen like yell all the lines out because we all know the lines and they only did like the most uh, most iconic scenes from the room iconic the most memorable ones so it would it would have just been a lot of people who think they're funny but they're not funny because they're just quoting the thing that's being spat into their faces from the screen so before I continue to ramble, we'll just get to... I don't recommend this movie for people who are not fans of The Room. And even if you are a fan of The Room, I have a feeling you won't like it that much. Because it brings nothing interesting and new to that table. It's just James Franco doing a Tommy Wiseau impression, which is very good for however the hell long that movie was. Probably, like... An hour and a half or two. Anyways. See you all the next time I'm motivated enough to do this. I have better lighting now, so maybe, who knows, I'll do more to justify owning it. See you all later. <laughs>